top of day two. We're back here on this uh, on this turn. I'll just show you the ceiling. Come out pretty good. Pretty good. You can see right here. See how that's a little tighter than out here? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand it down slightly. Hit it with the sander before I paint it, and that'll help it to blend in so it's a little softer. I just, I needed to put just a little bit more water in that, but I should be able to sand it down slightly and uh, make it look better. Let's do it. And what that did was that took off the high spots. Now I put a coat of, and it, it's not, like I said, it's not going to ever perfectly blend but that's better than doing uh, just a smooth ceiling and uh, letting it go. So, like I said, it's, it's, you'll never be able to get it perfect, but that's pretty close, pretty freaking close. You can see swirls, and then you go over here swirls. So, it's not too bad, bro. Yeah, not too bad at all. You gotta keep up on your uh, skills, bro. I keep, you know how long it's been since I did a texture like that? A long time. Looks pretty good. Got it all painted. Now it's it's got to dry, but once it dries, it'll blend in color-wise. You know, it's a little wet, but overall, man, I think it looks pretty freaking good. The boss even stopped by, and she was impressed with it. It's like I say, guys, it's it's. I did the best I could, you know, without knowing exactly what technique was used, and that's what you got to know. Um, like I said, man, I've been doing this for a long time. There's a half a dozen different ways you can put a texture on, and not it, and it's really, really, really hard to learn and to try on air. But the biggest thing, I don't care about the texture. The texture is going to kind of blend in. Any tenant that walks in that door, man, they ain't going to see. They ain't going to think twice about it. You know why? Because the ceiling's flat. You know what I'm saying? It, there's not a big bulge in it. There's the the ceiling is not two different heights. There's no big nasty, you know, mud line on that ceiling. So the point is from a distance, when you walk in this apartment, that ceiling's not gonna stand out. That's the whole point, man. Just a nice little blend. When that dries, it should just right up here. Cool beans, guys. You know, it's, it's one thing you just gotta take your time with some stuff. If you don't know something, Google it or uh, YouTube it, man. Just take your time. Don't stress. You can do this, man. It's this easy peasy stuff. I know I've been doing it for a long time. You guys are probably thinking, man, I can't do that. You can do it. But just take your time with it, man. I mean, it's not perfect, dude. But it's good enough that when that, you know, tenant walks in there, that's not going to stand out and hit them in the face. Let's go uh, do something. When I pulled the dishwasher, opened it up yesterday to get the stuff out. <laughs> They didn't even uh, mount it. These little fingers are supposed to be flat, <laughs> not curled down. And then you got to use like a half inch screw to go, uh, and you got to catch that lip. Um, so usually about a half inch, uh, three quarter screw would work just fine. And then you got to adjust, uh, adjust the dishwasher so it's not tipped forward too much. So. Let me go get some screws for that. The lip only comes back here, right? And then this uh, metal flange just barely catches that lip. Once a, uh, um, can't let this lip fall back too far. So if you just, oh, let me get a finger out. <laughs> Cause you want the slip to be pretty close to the front of the cabinet. So what it is is the lip only goes back here, but then it drops down or drops up. So you just, you don't have to yank it in all the way. You just need to get it in 
so it'll hold it. Kept. So I'm only biting about a half inch. So that will secure it to keep it from moving around. Boop bow. So we got another screen to build because the tenant run off with the screen. So I'm gonna show you how to do this one. I have no frame. So I'm gonna show you how to do it from scratch. From scratch. So you have a groove here and you have a deep groove here, okay? So the groove, this goes in farther than this little rim, okay? So this is your outer rim and then that's your inner rim, okay? Same thing on the other side. So what you want to do is measure it. It's going to be kind of hard to do. So the inner, the outer rim right here is the same as the other side of this. This, because the screen sits in this groove. Fits right in there. Same thing on this side, okay? So what you want to do is measure it from this groove. It's kind of hard to do this in my hand in my And you want to measure it over to the other side, to the, to this stock right here. Okay, so that's 20 and 3 eighths, 20 and 3 eighths. So I'm going to cut a rail for this real quick. Okay, so I got my 20 and 3 eighths. Actually, I cut it down to 20 and a quarter. And my style of corners are the 45s. So it makes it a little easier. So down at this end, it's going to go into the jam and then just miss this, right? But on this that side it's gonna have my little fingers so I'm gonna put my fingers on this side yeah I'll put my fingers on this side that way it keeps it tight okay so we'll make us up a couple more of these yeah because you don't want it so tight you can't get that out you know what I mean so I'll make me up another one of these and then we'll do the height all right, so I got that. I got the bottom one in, and I put the top one in. Now, what I want to do is I want to measure, um, measure from the top to the bottom. <laughs> this is the easiest way to do it, man. So I got my rails where I want. So if I go from the top to the bottom. I'm gonna be about, quit moving now. I'll <laughs> go the other way. Now I don't wanna make this really super tight. So if I go 42 and a quarter, that'll give me plenty of room for this. So the first thing I wanna do, because this is the inside of the window, this outside, okay? So when you're doing the 45s, you gotta make sure you get your angle right. My angle right. <laughs> I always try to confuse myself a little bit. So we'll put an angle on there. Okay, and then we'll cut it using the little saw. And then that's still the wrong way. <laughs> that's funny. That's why you always double check, man, before you start cutting. Okay. So I'll do this one and then I'll measure it off and I'll cut the other end. Okay, because this is an angle cut, I can go right off that corner. 42 and a quarter. Comes down here to 42 and a quarter. Mark it. Slap an angle on it. Remember which way I was going. Uh, yeah, this way. Okay, now I'll cut that and we'll have one side done. Hey, right, so <clears throat> I got my sides cut down. I put my little finger tabbers in there and these these little rocking shoes is all they do is on your rail 
it just fits right down inside there like that and then this mashes around the metal you just tap it of course it's not right but that gives you an idea of how those go in there and then that mashes and keeps your screen tight so let's get to putting it in bro this is just going to be the trial fit make sure that we get this proper get it in the hole Looks good, man. Looks really good. Because I got enough room. I got enough room that I can mash my finger down. I'll probably put the finger on the other side. It'd make it a little bit easier to work with. I'll put it on this side. And then push it in. It'll go right in the hole. So, all we gotta do is screen it now. Woohoo! So, on the new screen, it's not a big deal, it's not a brain teaser here. Just roll your screen out, cut it off. Man, it's gonna be a beautiful day today. And then, what I like to do first, little bag over here, I like to take the sharp end set my screen up where I want it and I like the pre-roll just uh this stuff's brand new so it's not going to roll out very well so guess we won't be doing that today all right so take the new twine and set it up down here on the corner I'm working on carpet here so it's going to bite just a little bit a little too much give and take but I can pull on the twine rope and stretch it out just slightly. Get it in the hole. Make sure you're flat. Go around the corner. I usually like to cut my corners. Cut the twine. That way it lays, a, it's a little easier to work on the corners like that. Okay. Yeah, to each his own. Just slightly pull on it. Just slightly pull on it. Cut my corner. I'm gonna show you a little trick real quick you down there where you can see it. Alright, so when you're starting up through here and you get your twine started, don't push it down the corner. Okay. If you roll it, if you put this wheel on the inside or on the outside of it, and when you push down, what it does is it will it will pull the screen versus out here you, you run a chance of slipping off and busting your screen so if you just not a lot of pressure just push down on it just like so and it'll it'll pull the screen so anyways i got a phone call coming in What's that do with my knife? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I can make a screen. I've seen it on TV. Just barely pushing on that. Put a little bit of weight to it, not a whole lot. All right, now I got to cut it. Easy on the cutting, bro.
that's a good screen it's a good screen not too tight nice and pretty let's get it in the window all right so <clears throat> I got my little rocking shoe or rocking chair on this side okay nice and tight that's why I like them whoop fell out get it in the groove and then I use my little pry bar to push it over here man because it's a re it's a brand new screen and it's gonna be tight first time go for it that looks good I like my screen to be tight so once you get oh shit don't push too hard <laughs> Push it out too far. It stairs, it's not falling in the track. A little tight. It's just not, it's catching up here on the top corner. The, the material for the screen is thicker than what originally was there so that's the reason why it's a little tight getting it in the hole it's wanting to fight me there it is there you go that's a nice tight screen Looks pretty. Looks real good. So, nice tight all the way around. Got a little buckle out here, but that's fine. It's, this is the inside of the winner. No bugs will get in there. So, yeah, looks pretty. See, the other thing about that screen I just built. See, it's white. And this is like almond. So, like I said, that material there is just, a, it, it's such a small amount thinner than the white and that's the reason why on the white you kind of have to pry it into place but the tennis don't need to be pointed out anyways I don't care don't take my screen out <laughs> going to lunch bro well we got that screen done Woohoo! now we'll run over to the other property I have an outlet and a an outlet that's pulled out and the smoke detector is beeping, so let's go do it, man. Might be a blown out outlet. We never know. Let's go over and do it. Just loose. Tighten it up. Yeah, it's a, it the outlet, the upper screw that mounts the outlet in, it had pulled itself out. They didn't have it in all the way, so. I just re-secured the outlet and put it back on, put the cover back on. It's no big deal. Replace the battery and smoke ticker. They, uh, that person works at home uh, doing some kind of computer stuff. She was only like a couple foot from me, so I couldn't be all loud and be all, little, you know what I'm saying? So, well, I guess we'll uh, run back to shop and clean this out. And I think I'll work on moving some stuff out of the uh, office and put it in the shed. So. Let's go do something, man.